Hello everyone, I'm Said Mandegar. Welcome back to yet another tutorial. So great to have you. In this video, I'm gonna talk about one of the greatest features of V-Ray bitmap. Before I dive into any details, let's compare the general bitmap and V-Ray bitmap. As you see, V-Ray bitmap has a mapping source that allows us to connect different maps. So it would be a great help to speed up our workflow. V-Ray bitmap supports the most image file formats such as HDR, EXR, PNG and so on. As you know, to change the material scale, map channel, blur and other items, we need to go to the coordinates tab of every single map we use in that material and it would be time consuming if we don't mix up. For instance, if I change the texture tiling of a diffuse map, it just applies on the diffuse map. So the result looks like this. Let me disconnect it. Here you see the rest of the texture styling stayed the same. Obviously, they are not going to be matched in your final render. The old solution was to go to each map's coordinates tab and update the tiling number that is not recommended anymore. Or simply connect the nodes of the diffuse map to the mapping source node of all maps you used to create this material. Let me do it real quick and show you the result. I increased the scale of the texture just to be more noticeable in this exercise. As I'm connecting the diffuse map to the mapping source, the result slightly changes in the preview. And now, if I disconnect the diffuse map, you will see that the scale of all textures stayed the same as the diffuse map, even if it's not connected to the material. If I check the other map's parameters, you will see that the diffuse map is assigned to the mapping source. So it means from now on all these maps are synced with the main map that is the diffuse map in here. Alright, let me get back to the default numbers and take a test render to show you the results. By the way, you can change the material preview to any of these maps by clicking on this arrow and choose the target map from the list. And here's the result. I forgot to reduce the blur amount back to 1 so it looks very sharp now. That's okay, I just wanted to show you. If you want to learn how to make a realistic PBR material for the walls, click on the interactive card I put up in here. That's it for me guys, hope you like this one. Please hit that like button if it was helpful and subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to be notified about the next video. See you in the next video. Have fun!